Hi, I'm Vasudev Lal. I'm a research scientist at the Cognitive AI team at Intel Labs. And I'm really excited to talk about our demo on multimodal RAG on videos, which is powered by Intel Gaudi 2 and Intel Xeon on the Intel Developer Cloud. So what does a multimodal RAG system do? So let's suppose you have a large video corpus and you want to be able to chat with it, you want to be able to do question answering on it, and you want to be able to get insights from all the information which is present in this multimodal corpus. So here in this multimodal RAG system, we can execute user queries. So for example, I'm going to go execute this query from the CHIPS Ag funding announcement by which year is Intel committed to net zero gas emissions. So what this system is going to do is we have indexed a video corpus related to videos about Intel. It will retrieve the most appropriate video segment that can help answer this question. World's leading edge chips by the end of the decade. And right here in the United States, Intel is committed to net zero greenhouse gases gas emissions by 2040. Yeah, so we saw President Biden actually um, uh, telling this information that Intel is committed to net zero gas emissions by 2040, and the model is also able to summarize it. Now, in this chatbot, we can also do follow-up questions, like what percentage of renewable energy is Intel planning to use? And I hit uh, send here. It's going to try to answer this question based on the context in this video segment. So let me play the video segment again too gas emissions by 2040, and using 100% renewable electricity to power these fabs. And there's more, because this isn't just... Yeah, so we saw that the model is able to answer this question, and it's grounding it in the information present in this video. Now, the multimodal models that are used for powering this demo can latch onto both language and vision cues in, in the video corpus. So, let me run another query here that says a band playing music. And again, the model is going to retrieve the best possible video segment in the corpus that best describes this query. And I'm going to play this video segment and the model is going to try to summarize what's happening in this video segment. And here we can see that the model is really latching onto the visual of this video segment. So what are the kind of models that are powering this multimodal RAG system? So here, I want to talk a little bit about the multimodal foundation models that are being trained by our team on Intel Gaudi 2 clusters in the Intel Developer Cloud. On the left here, we have some examples of multimodal LLM, uh, which are part of the Lava family of models that we've been training on Gaudi 2, and we've been open sourcing them. On the right here, I have an example of the Bridge Tower multimodal encoding model that is trained on 512 Gaudis and again open sourced. So we are very interested in open sourcing these models to Hugging Face so that other AI researchers and developers can make use of these models and can further improve these systems. So we make use of both the Bridge Tower model and the Lava model in this multimodal RAG demo. So for example, um, uh, we take the video corpus and in a pre-indexing step, the video corpus is processed by our bridge tower model and we get these dense embeddings that populate a vector database stored in Redis. Now, when a user executes a query, the query also gets processed through the same bridge tower embedding model and there will be a retrieval step which will retrieve the best matching video segment and that can help answer that query. And it will concatenate that video context with the input query and send it to the multimodal LLM, which is Lava in this case. Then the Lava model will generate a language response where the output language generated, it is grounded in the input video segment that was retrieved. So in our team, uh, we have been uh, stressing the limits of what these multimodal LLMs can do. So for example, We've been training a 70 billion parameter model on Gaudi 2 based cluster in the Intel Developer Cloud. A model at this scale cannot fit into a single Gaudi 2 AI accelerator card. So we use full 3D parallelism where we distribute the model weights and the model layers across different Gaudi 2 cards to train the model. 
here we show that as we scale up from 7 billion to 70 billion parameter model, our pre-training curve shows better convergence. In our team, we are also very interested in developing models that are trained on the Intel Gaudi 2 based clusters in Intel Developer Cloud, but then we want to make multimodal AI assistance that can run purely on, on a laptop. So here we have a laptop that's powered by Intel Core Ultra, that was codenamed Meteor Lake, and we have the Bridge Tower model that was trained on 512 Gaudis running locally on this laptop. So we've taken a local video and indexed this video, and then the search queries are going to run all locally on the laptop. This laptop, in fact, is not even connected to the internet. So we've taken uh, Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger's keynote from innovation of last year, and we're going to run some queries on it. So for example, the first query we're going to run is a Lunar Lake demonstration. So once we run this query, you can see that the response is really fast. It gives us a few uh, a few uh, responses. I'm going to play this video segment. This guy, the beauty is on the inside, Pat. Okay, okay. This is actually the world's first showing of our lunar lake. Yes, so we, we did see that it's catching on to that. Um, so now, uh, let's run a couple more queries here. Uh, we are going to run a very visual query. So let's say code written on a, on a shirt. Uh, so again, we see it's a very fast retrieval. Um, we see a few of these uh, queries, uh, these search results. Let's play this one. Off, here's my Python code of the day. And it's... Uh, yeah, so we can see that the, the model was able to retrieve uh, a video snippet that best matches this query. Maybe let's run one more query. Yeah, so we are going to run this query about information on nimble models. So let's see what kind of queries did we, did we get? Operation, where you know, big training and model creation, but we need to deploy nimble models running. So we see Pat describing how Intel client products will power these nimble models that can be deployed on a laptop or a desktop and can be made accessible to billions of users worldwide. And maybe let me run one last query. Yeah, so we are going to run this query, Jersey with 86. And yes, you know, we see that the model has actually um, retrieved these scenes where there is there is this jersey with the number 86 written on it. So our model is also able to latch onto text that might be written on images. All right, with that, I hope you liked our demos on the multimodal models that our team has been building on Intel Gaudi 2. And uh, uh, the way these models power a multimodal RAG application as well as a multimodal semantic search that can run locally on a laptop. Thank you.